Hi, and welcome to this introductory video in which I'm going to show you uh, a quick teaser of what Project Machina is about. Uh, this project is an open source project which is trying to make robotics more accessible to wider audiences, such as designers, creative coders, hobbies, thinkers, etc. And, uh, and which focuses specifically on the real-time aspect of communication with these machines, all right? So what I have here is an universal robot, and on my computer, I have an interface that is built with all these machina tools. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make the robot move here, face the wall, uh, and do something. Do like a, I'm going to write a small program with the robot, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move somewhere here. So I'm going to type move to, and the coordinates in that Cartesian space are going to be somewhere like 600, uh, positive 200 for Y, and something like 400 for the Z, right? And as I do that, the robot is going to move this way, but it's moving very slow. So I'm going to speed it up by writing speed to 100 millimeters per second, all right? So for the next action, that will trigger. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the tool and make it face that wall. I'm going to rotate it around the Y vector. All right. So I'm going to say rotate around 0, 1, 0. That's the Y vector and minus 90 degrees. And as I do that, whoop, the robot is going to rotate this way. I'm going to close the gripper like I was picking something up. So write the digital pin number 0 and activate it to true. And then whoop, the gripper is, is closed. Now I'm going to move it a little bit in the vertical direction. So move like 300 millimeters in positive set. I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to open the grippers, letting go whatever I had. And then I'm going to go back to a home position like I had before by setting directly the value of each one of the axes. So that's going to be 0, minus 90, minus 90, minus 90, nine, positive 90, positive 90, which is home position for universal roles, more or less. All right? So as you can see, I was typing the actions, and the robot was following them immediately. All right? Uh, but what's interesting about this project is that not only I have this interface in which I can communicate with the robot, but this interface allows me to hook up other applications in my system also and do real-time communication through this interface. Let me show you that. So I'm going to switch to Grasshopper, which is a visual programming language that is very common and very popular among designers. And in this interface, I have created with these boxes that represent actions, I have created this, basically the same program that I did before, a program where I set the speed, I move here, I rotate, I open the gripper, go up, and then I release the grippers. And here, I am connecting to the bridge with this button, and then pressing this other button, I just sent that program, that same program, to the robot. So you can see here that the actions were coming from the Grasshopper client, and oh, am I going to break something? <laughs> and they were executed, and it's just following the same program. So I'm communicating via the bridge. I'm communicating with as the middleman with other applications in my system. And the bridge is also giving information back to my Grasshopper environment. So if you want to learn more about how to make these things happen and how to connect it to your other applications, please feel free to follow the these video tutorials that I'm making and that they should be somewhere on a playlist or something. Uh, Thank you.